Good Friday morning. It is the start of a new week. Uh, I hope this is going to be a good week. So far, indications are not that great. Uh, just trying to record this this second. I've had all sorts of camera issues. Um, it is Christmas week. Uh, the project house, I have no idea how that's going to go. There have been some problems there. Uh, so we'll have to see how that plays out. Um, and what I've always find interesting is the fact that for you, this is history. And for me, this is happening. So you know more about what's going, what's happened than I do. I hope it's good. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, let's see what I can do. And insert the sky right here because it was amazing today. And if you're wondering why it's not as pretty right now, it's because I had to go onto all social media and post it. But yeah, that is pretty cool. Very bright and early Christmas Eve. I am heading off to the store because for some odd reason all of my milk is gone. Not accusing anybody, I'm just saying. And then I found out I have to bake something that I had not planned on baking. But okay, so I'm off to the store and we'll get the day started. So it is not the prettiest of all Christmas Eves out there right now at 6.30 in the morning. It's dark, it's rainy, it's sort of foggy, but we'll make the best of it. Back from the store, the store was pretty crowded for 6.30 in the morning, so I didn't do anything in the store, um, didn't vlog or anything, but uh, I got everything that I needed, so now having breakfast. Okay, good it's Sunday morning, yeah, it's Sunday. Uh, it is Christmas morning, so that is always going to be one of the big activities of the day. So, what are my plans today? To Christmas, and then to more of Christmas. I have no real plans, other than family, Christmas, that sort of thing. Maybe I'll get some shots in, but uh, with my family it's hard to tell, because they don't like to be on camera, just so you know. Okay, so let's get the day started. Okay, Christmas is over. It was a long, long day. It's always fun. Had my cousin down, he was really cool. Uh, his girlfriend, and uh, it was great. That was the fun part. Uh, family's always interesting to have around. I hope everybody had a great Christmas. I did get some really cool gifts. I got a bread maker, since mine had died, and then the two bears, which I love. Um, and then a dishcloth or hand towel drying thing, which is really cool. I uh, hope your Christmas was great. I'm really super tired. Wish I could have recorded it, but a lot of them are, they don't want to be on camera, so I didn't. It's okay. Good. What is today? Monday? Yeah, I guess it's Monday morning. Uh, it is going to be a nice week. Uh, the big week for the Project House, because it's move-in week. Today it's sort of relaxing, see how it goes kind of day. Uh, then, you know, I know I'm getting old when I start saying things like, hey, I can remember when it used to be cold in December and things. Today it's like in the 60s. Kind of strange. So yeah, I, I believe in global warming. Well, there's always been global warming. We're just speeding it up. Okay, so let's get started. It is 7 o'clock on a Monday night. It is really windy outside, and the temperature when I last came in was 70 degrees. Yes, 70 degrees on December 22nd. <sighs> wow, it's mind-blowing. Good Tuesday morning is December 27th, and as I was thinking about this, talking about what I would say this morning, or think about what I was going to say this morning, I was like, oh, it's a lot cooler outside. And by cooler, that means just when I went outside, I felt a slight chill instead of, the, <laughs> instead of yesterday's felt really good outside. And I went outside without a coat on, just my t-shirt, and so... Yeah, slight chill, it's a little windy, but hey, it's December, what, what can I expect? Today we are going to the project house, got the flip camera with me, so we'll take a look. Good Wednesday morning, it is a beautiful day. I am off to the project house. Uh, let's get going really quick, because I'm actually late. We are at the project house, things are moving along, the big move-in day is tomorrow. Uh, looks, really looks great. Floors are done, carpets are in, everything is going pretty well. And, but it sounds so hollow right now without anything in here. Uh, we're going to be getting curtain rods and those sort of things today, so that'll be a lot of fun. 
Ooh, look at my hair, it's horrible. Good Thursday morning. It is moving day. I am out the door. So I'm going to grab the little flip cam. We're going to go and we'll be back, okay? So let's go to the project house. Moving day. Okay, moving day has started. The movers are moving stuff out. Ann and I are in the vehicle. It's been fun. Good Friday morning, the end of the week. Wow. What a week it was. Okay, some of you are saying to yourselves, well, where is yesterday's footage from the project house? Here's the story. Okay, so we get there and the movers come at, well, they were there probably about the right time they were supposed to be. They did uh, break a piece of glass and scratched, a, a break a, broke a piece of glass on the uh, door of the antique cabinet and scratched a piece of furniture. However, they were really good about telling what they did, get, saying how they were going to get it fixed, blah, blah, blah. The, um, they were great, wonderful. Then it was time for the company who I'm not naming because that would probably be, uh, you'll probably end up figuring it out if you follow me on any of my social media. Uh, who we, Anne had arranged to get her appliances from that company. Well, when they delivered the appliances, they would first up took, took them to her old house, not the new house that she moved into, even though I was even with her the day she updated the information about the old house. We asked about the cord that day for the range and were told, no, 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 it's all there. Okay, cool. Wonderful. So, comes time for the delivery, she gets a she gets a message from the person who bought her old house saying, hey, the delivery guys were trying to deliver your, you know, range and stuff out here. Okay, so she's like, well, that's weird because it didn't even call. So she, of course, calls right away and finds out that the old information that they have was not updated by the same salesperson who she bought the items from. Alright, so that's no big deal. They get the new information out there. So they come to inst they come to deliver and install. They bring in the dishwasher and say, Do you want you know, do you want it left out there? And she's like, Well no, I want it installed. They're not the installation people. The installation people had not even been arranged yet, even though she paid for installation. The cord, of course, as you can now figure out, was not attached or even with or even purchased, even though it was asked for, for the range, and so it was also not there. Contacted corporate, and corporate for this company was really, really good. The local store itself was the issue. They were rude. They were just horrendous. So um, we did get the, inst the cord for 50% off because of the problems that, ever that she went through. However, the installation of it and everything will not happen until Tuesday uh, at 8 a.m. Yeah, that's right, Tuesday, which means that she has no range or dishwasher until Tuesday. And they're like, well, you know, we are, you are getting that for 50% off. No, that's not an issue. I'm finding out more and more that a lot of these companies still treat women and elderly or older people with uh, this, this, this thing like, well, you know, we can do whatever we want to them and they'll just go along and do whatever. This was a really bad situation that they could have made right really easily. I mean, literally, all they had to do with the cord was say, hey, if you buy the cord, we'll send somebody out there to install your range, you know, right away, no problem. And it's just been one of those, okay, that's cool, you know, it's just, it was an oversight mistake. Nope, never happened. So that's an issue. I don't know. So we'll see what happens with that. I will go back out today. Hopefully today will be smoother and we will have more video from the project house. Okay. In all this craziness, I forgot. This is the end of the week. Hey, I hope you've had a great week. Um, I'm hoping next week is much, much better. And I hope I get to see you again next time.